Member for Kew, on a question. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Health. This winter, every baby in Queensland and Western Australia can be immunised against the dangerous respiratory virus, RSV, because those state governments ordered vaccine supplies. Why will most babies in Victoria miss out on an RSV vaccination? Minister for Health. Much, Speaker. I thank the member for Q for her question, which I welcome. <laughs> Let's be clear, here in Victoria, it is our health clinicians who make decisions about which vaccines and drug treatments we order or don't order. And when we are approached by a pharmaceutical company with a drug that has not yet been approved by the TGA, um, we did not purchase, or the department did not purchase that at that time. Now, but there's a few things that I need to say about RSV. Obviously, Winter presents a whole range of respiratory challenges. Yes, so I know, um, yes, some of our colleagues are being impacted by them right now. Uh, flu, COVID and RSV. It's a really great opportunity to remind everyone in this chamber uh, to make sure that they're up to date with their COVID and their uh, flu vaccines. And in particular, for children to have a flu vaccine, we're a bit alarmed about the, uh, how few children are actually getting their flu vaccine, yep. despite the fact that it is on the National Immunisation Program. Now, I want to assure everyone that we have secured a supply of the new drug, and it is available to those children who are at risk and are in hospital, so are highly susceptible to a severe impact of RSV, uh, now that it has been approved by the TGA. Now, 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 now that it process. has been approved by the TGA, so we have secured that supply. Just wait to the process now, you've got for nuclear. Um, so what public confidence, letter of the national, public confidence in the immunisation programs is absolutely critical. We know that there are those who have stood around while a whole lot of misinformation has been spread about that. Shocking. Yep. As Health Minister, I want to Parliament. encourage people to listen to clinical <laughs> advice, to listen to clinicians and to act accordingly. I want to once again assure you that the Royal Children's Hospital uh, has a range of treatments that have been available uh, for children with RSV and they'll continue to deliver those treatments. Yeah. Member for Q on a supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. How many times did the minister or her department reject send off his proposals to secure sufficient RSV vaccinations for Victorian babies? Order. Minister for Health. Um, the Department of Health is not in the business of buying um, vaccines from drug companies that have not received approval. TGA approval. Yeah. 